My Digital Landscape. Hello, hello. This is William with My Digital Landscape, and this is Squarespace Talk. Today, we're going to talk a little bit about uh, simple Squarespace SEO and where to populate those things on the back end of your Squarespace 7 website. So right here I am on the back end of new Squarespace talk website and in terms of SEO there's a few different places that we can go. Um, obviously Squarespace has labeled one of the uh, one of the columns SEO right here. So search engine description. Search engine description uh, and they say one or two short sentences. It can be a little bit longer, but you're not going to be able to see any of that. Um, what that's going to be is what reads out under your website. So if you're in Google and you're looking at your site, that's what's going to appear right here. Uh, as far as looking to design a new website, this is going to be um, the readout there. Uh, of what you're typing in right here in the description. Um, this is going to be a really, really important place to put in the right keywords in order to get found on the um, search engines. So you want it to be in a you know fairly complete sentence, but again, this is going to be a highly important uh, keyword of how soon you're going to be found. As far as these other options, that Squarespace gives us site name, collection name, item name, and changing the order of these to get better SEO. This is actually a good setup. That's why Squarespace has it this way. Uh, I have definitely tried different things and have seen other clients come right in here and essentially delete this and start typing in their own things. Do not delete. Um, what's going on here and put in other keywords. If you do, you can click here and again, it's gonna be um, percentage sign and then a lowercase s to get these things back. Uh, I would recommend leaving them the way that they are, to be completely honest. Uh, there are some other places that you're gonna find um, SEO on your page. And the two are going to be obviously what is on the page, but more importantly, what is in the page description. Having a great page description is going to be indexed by the search engines and this is going to be something that's an important place to have a couple, you know, something that resembles a complete sentence um, in the page description here as well as keywords. Also, your URL slug is going to be something that will be indexed as well. So make sure you're looking at these because, you know, as I added this to the site today, uh, it defaulted to new blog. Um, and that's not going to be good at all in terms of SEO. So why don't we make this Squarespace? Um, news. It's going to be much more keyword friendly. Again, we're going to add in the page description here. Slug line is going to be another spot. We're going to save that. Um, so we have it in our page descriptions, which will live here under settings, is another great place for SEO. Um, and then third, and this is one that not enough people think of, and I'm going to give you a really good secret here. Your pay, your site title. As stupid as it sounds, this is going to be the fastest one to index. So when you're in here under a logo and title, your site title might not have any good keywords in it. Um, so we're going to want to have, obviously, our site title, whatever your site title is, and then I prefer to use these um, 
um, these style of lines, you can also use a, uh, a hyphen or something else to break it up. You could use commas. But for a site title, um, having a few really good keywords included after your site title, I would recommend writing your site title if your business name is Squarespace Talk. Make sure that's the first thing because that's what's going to read. If your business name is My Digital Landscape, we want that to read as the site title. But we are Squarespace specialists and we have some other keywords as well here that are going to be um, not shown. You're going to get the dot 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 the site title is going to be a great place to be able to, um, you know, really put in quality keywords that make sense to your site, to your business, um, and make sure it reads well on the customer facing side. But that's going to be a powerful place to add in keywords as well. So again, in quick review for simple Squarespace SEO, we're going to one, make sure under settings we have the SEO filled out with a great description here. Um, and again, you probably don't need to change the settings. Number two, in your actual pages, you're going to want to make sure that your pages have a good description for each page located here, as well as any other keywords. The URL slug is going to be another really important keyword rich spot and your site title. Um, once you have all of those things in place, uh, you're going to want to then get all of these in place and then you're going to want to submit um, your site to Google, Bing, etc. and that would be the webmaster tools. Um, so Google's going to have theirs, Bing is going to have theirs, etc. And you're going to want to submit site maps and do what else you can in Webmaster Tools once these things are in place. This is William with My Digital Landscape and this has been Squarespace SEO. Cheers. My Digital Landscape.